Uh, Michelle Craver, I have uh, three questions here. Uh, awesome. You could uh, answer them in any way you can. Uh, what is your inspiration for Apple Bloom's voice? Well, when I was, I think, about seven, I did a show called Little Jake, and I was Little Jake, and he was a little southern boy, and he kind of, I can't, kind of talk like this and so I kind of got uh, like into the groove of the country accent from that but um, quite different in the way that you know the character uh, I developed it but um, uh, Apple Bloom in the description they usually give you about a paragraph when you audition and it said um, that Apple Bloom is, can be perceived as a little bit bratty a little bit you know kind of naughty and everything but she, you have to find contrast in her voice between that and, you know, very sweet and uh, kind pony. So uh, that, uh, I kind of uh, I kind of got excited about that because, you know, that makes the voice more interesting, gives it a little bit more dynamic. So, uh, and then you, when you uh, evolve, the, well, when you uh, go along with the character through her journeys and um, you see her, like learn all these valuable life lessons she, the character really opens up and that's when people really start to connect with her and I and I did that too with the scripts and that's why the writers are so genius because the way they evolve the characters is uh, it's really relatable question two can you say you and Apple Bloom had the same personality I can't really say that um, but there's a lot of things that you can relate with Apple Bloom. She's trying to find herself, um, you know, uh, with her cutie mark. But, you know, cutie mark isn't just a thing on your flank. It's your passion. It's what you're going to do in your life. So I think that that shows that she's uh, was actually quite intelligent and, you know, uh, passionate. So um, uh, that, that part is relatable to her. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, you, uh, you, uh, on the later panel today, you, uh, you explained how you found out about the Brony community. community. Now, I just want to ask, how do you feel about the Brony community? The bro Brony community is spectacular. I couldn't have asked for a better fandom. And, you know, I just said this in, a, in an earlier interview, that there is really no fandom like this. It's so, uh, like considerate and empathetic and you know it's just genuinely so supportive and every minute of the day knowing that you have so many people and fans behind you just makes it so, like so much more fun to you know go and see the fans and you guys are just so awesome we love you that's like the voice actors really were so surprised and we couldn't have asked for a better surprise so. I think I speak for all of us that say we love you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, that's it. All right. See you later. By the way, buy some apples. We take cash for credit. <laughs> <laughs>